When I arrived at Clarence's house, there was a letter on my bed from Camilla, dated two days previous, saying such exciting news about the engagement. Do let's have lunch soon when Prince Wales goes to Australia and New Zealand. And love to see the ring. Lots of love, Camilla. And that was, wow. You may recall seeing a picture of me sobbing mm. in a red coat when he went off on his aeroplane. That was nothing to do with him going. The most awful thing had happened before he went. I was in his study talking to him about his trip. The telephone rang, it was Camilla. Just before he was going, five weeks. So I thought, shall I be nice or shall I just sit here? So I thought I'd be nice, so I left them to it and it just broke my heart back. Mm. So I organised lunch. We had lunch and very tricky, very tricky indeed. She said, you're not going to hunt, are you? I said, no. Oh, I just wanted to know that. But as far as she was concerned, that was her communication. I was still too immature to understand all the messages coming my way. And then someone in his office told me that my husband had had a bracelet made for her. I walked into this man's office one day and I said, oh, what's in that parcel? Oh, he said, you shouldn't look at that. I said, well, I'm going to look at it. So I opened it and there was a bracelet. I was devastated. And he said, well, he's going to give it to her tonight. So rage, 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 you know, why can't you be honest with me? But no, obviously cut me dead. It was as if he'd made a decision, if it wasn't going to work, it wasn't going to work. He'd found the virgin, sacrificial lamb, mm. and in a way he was obsessed with me, but it's hot and cold, hot and cold. You never knew what mood it was going to be. Up and down, up and down. I went upstairs, I had lunch with my sisters who were there, and I said, I can't marry him, I can't do this. This is absolutely unbelievable. And they were wonderful. I said, well, bad luck, Dutch, your face is on the tea towel, so you're too late to chicken out. Two young and loving and happy faces are, in their own very individual way, putting a smile back into a broken-hearted, miserable Britain. <laughs>